All right, what's going on this time? What the hell is this? Custom skins on weapons? Oh, it's like a collaboration between Vito Burst or whatever, like an event or some sort. It's kind of hilarious, you know, just to see some waifus on your weapons, okay? Also, why we have different models? We originally started with just this one, but we have some Koro and Assassin? Wait, what's happening? This is a tradition that I'm coming back to this game like every few months, so I'm always surprised what's going on. Player skin selection. I have to choose the model, okay. Oh, that looks cute. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's stick with this. I keep forgetting that I want to try this game like with mods or whatever. One day, maybe. <laughs> there is a lot to go through with the notes, but we're here today for the Death Impact update. I don't really see much in the patch notes. It's basically, I think, when you kill something, it gets like ragdoll system, which kind of seems funny. <laughs> I mean, why would you update the game with a ragdoll system in a physics-driven game already? Like, why it was not a thing back in the day? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do adventure and that's pretty much it. Maybe someone's gonna join me. Who knows? Uh, I'm not even going to question it. Hi. Ah, uh, hello. Swaft. You just the fittest my way. It's the fittest. Oh my god, finally I got to open. What is going on? <laughs> Holy <laughs> head, what are those hammers? Okay, so basically I think when you hit someone, yeah, they did regular. <laughs> it's gonna be easier to do it alone, I feel like, because there's so much going on in adventure mode, so let's do just single. Like, I had no weapon, I, I wanted to fight with my fists. I wanna do my classic with this long sword. Where is it? Huh, weird. Okay, let's do the medium sword, of course. Dual building. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so, when you hit, I think, an enemy, uh, it just does a ragdoll like that. Okay, gotcha. I mean, it kinda makes sense if, like, you would just hit something and they would just, like, you know, drop that on the ground. I don't remember why they did actually like before like I thought they did that exactly so like maybe for me it's not gonna be like you know very much different this update but I guess it makes things more natural bam bam and bam shot me <laughs> I forgot how to play it already <laughs> let me parry something okay ow they make like uh, powering easier. I don't remember if it was that easy. Oh shit. My weapons. Nah. <laughs> Give me a shield. Don't mind me. Oh, mace. Okay. Come back here. Okay. Ooh. No. No. <laughs> Slap that bitch. I think we can buy a few stuff. Oh no, just give me a weapon, so whatever. <laughs> Wait, Minase Shia Sword. Is this the event one? What the hell? <laughs> Oh, nice panty shot here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, we'll fight with this. It is third level, so it should do like high damage. Just get slapped by the anime girl. Oh shit. What did he spawn? <laughs> Hundred. Okay. Care for anime? <laughs> Let me parry with her. Uh, you can say so many weird stuff with this. Like, it's so funny that sort of Gangancho is the game. Heavily populated by Easter side of the world. Like I never got why. Maybe because you have this whole mod system and that it's more so like you know gameplay in virtual reality. Essentially, what people like you know fans of anime, manga, and stuff like that pursue to find in VR a look-alike gameplay to feel like be transferred in the other world. Okay, no, no, no. no. Oh shit, my wife is broken. No, 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 no. Ow! <laughs> I think that was a dub date. Let me see the patch tones again, because I thought it is a pretty small change. <laughs> it seems like just those new weapons, the ragdoll after death, and Korean language supports. I mean, that's what I said here. This game is huge on the east, so it is catering mostly to this fan base. I mean, honestly, huge props to the developers that keep this game still alive, even after almost two years of releasing it back in the day on Quest 1. So it is one of the few that actually survived, and people are keep playing and playing it. So the only thing I did not finish this game is fight with Gargantua because it was not available when you were doing the campaign. Wait, where is the campaign anyways? Oh, it's called Dodge mode already. Okay, yeah, here. I fought on 100th level, like the last floor. There's gonna be a fight with Gargantua, but it was just a normal level. So back in the day, the only way to fight with the last boss of the game was through multiplayer, which wasn't really big at the time. Now it seems like it's more popular than before. So I don't know, maybe one day we'll finish it actually with the last fight, but I guess I would just do it in adventure mode. I would just be tryharding because I'm not 
even near high level to do it uh, with weapons and stuff. I would have some people do it for me, I guess. Pretty cool to see that it's still updated, that's pretty much it.